hello beauties welcome to my channel it's Fomzi here and thank you for joining me today today I just wanted to share with you what I picked up from the welcome back sale summer sale from Sephora but I wanted to pick up some of my essentials so I just wanted to show you and share with you what I did pick up first I picked up the Lancome by Fassel, the makeup remover, and that's for mainly my eyes. My eyes are very sensitive, contact lens wearer, so I need to use something that won't burn and take it away easily. So that's the by Fassel. I was running out of it. Then the next, also for my eyes, will be the wonder beauty baggage claim and this is a set of how many masks six pairs a set of six pairs i think this um is one of my favorites not that i think it's one of my favorites that i use to calm my under eye as well as brighten it and you know make it look rested because and all the things that i put my eyes and the surroundings to it just it does need some help so i picked this up if you haven't tried this it is a very good one to try um it does stay put which is something that i actually do look for in eye masks something that is hydrating will stay put not slide around the whole place and require you to be practically in one position for 15 minutes so this is a very good one and the next one, the Glam Glow Selfie Approved Cheap Masks. Glam Glow actually has my favorite masks, both the um, sheet mask and the wash off ones. My skin reacts very well to Glam Glow. This contains three, I believe, or is it four? Three masks. This contains three and it is $19 for the three. Normally it's $9 for one, but this three will be uh, $19. So that's quite some savings. So I do pick up the packages. I picked up this bronzer brush from Sephora. I've heard so much about this brush. When I say so much, I've heard so much about this. This is the number 80 Pro Brush Bronzer. Yeah, it says 80 here. I did pick up two brushes um, from Marc Jacobs, one of them from Sephora, the other one from the website, uh, Marc Jacobs website, because Sephora didn't have it. However, right now, Marc Jacobs is having a 40% off and of their brushes, and I think that's a good time to try their brushes. And this one is the Face 2 brush, a lot of people use it for foundation and I'm going to try it. Yes, the Sephora uh, blades, one of my essentials. I don't use it on my eyebrows anymore because I've made a mess of my eyebrows, so I have to wait. So I'm letting it grow out. But this is for the hairs that the peach fuzz, is that what it's called? So I use this for that. And I think I'm down to my last one, so I decided to pick a backup. So next is the Dior Addict Lip Glow Oil. I just wanted to try this one. This is what it looks like. And picked up this color. And this color is uh, Coral 004. But it doesn't really come out as anything on my lips. Um, I like the fact that it's not sticky. Yeah, doesn't change anything it's just even though it says coral i don't get the wash of color because my lips are pretty dark so this is really nice i do like it so what else did i pick up yeah nice so this is just me wanting to have stuff so i picked up another uh, tom ford uh, quad this one is in seductive rose i'm just trying to build up my collection and i'm picking you know the ones that i like small by small little by little that is seductive rose 
I just thought that this color was pretty neat. I do like this too. I just wanted to see how they perform. I just liked it. It's a simple, cool tone kind of color or palette, will I call it? Cuddly Brightening Hand Cream. When I did my Sephora uh, Fantasy Basket, I included this is a uh, brightening hand cream. It does contain the um, vine, vine, viniferin that Caudalie has and their products, I do like them. They do well with on my skin. I've already started using it. As you can see, I really, really do like it. It has a light scent, but it is not like overpowering. It does linger a little bit, but not much. Maybe a couple of minutes, no, nothing more and it will go. It is also moisturizing, not greasy, because that's what I didn't want. Next is the Sephora brush. I picked up another one of this. This I already have, the 205. It's the dual-ended brush, um, one for blending, the other one for your lids. I really do love this uh, brush. Eight dollars. It was on sale. Normally, I think it's sixteen half off, and I was like, "Oh, it's on sale. Let me pick up another one." So I picked this up as well. Next one, girl. This was just me being me. I picked up the Givenchy Prisma Libre Powder in um, Pop Line Mimosa, which is number five, second to the last shade. I really wanted to try this. I've heard a lot about this powder. So this is what it looks like. These are the colors for the one that I picked up, the number five. What else did I get? Yep. I got the Marc Jacobs, uh, the pop liner, and I got this in the color 308 Current Mood. I just wanted to try this color. My favorite has always been the Currently Pencil from MAC. They discontinued it. I just don't understand why. So I've been looking for one that would actually, you know, be very close to it. I picked up another one from MAC, Night Moth, which is actually my favorite right now. But when I saw this color current, because I really haven't tried any of their pot liners, the gel liners, yes, the eye one, but not the lip one. And ooh, lovely texture. Let's try this, the lip liner. Mm. Not too dark and it Puts on real smooth. I did buy some lipsticks. I'm not sure it's really going to go with the lipsticks that I did pick up. I don't know what it is about these Gucci lipsticks. Like anytime I have an opportunity, I pick one. I don't even know how many I have now. But I did pick up the satin formula that I do like. I picked up the Agatha Orange. I've heard so much about this, but I never thought orange would look nice on my lips. Well, we'll give it a try. Let's try this. Here's the packaging. It's what it looks like. And there we go. So here we go. What do you think? On my lips, it's more of a burnt orange color than, you know, a bright, shiny orange color. But it's nice. I would use a lip liner with this, though I don't have any with me here. But it looks pretty, I think. Now, the other lip lipstick I did pick up is the Sadie Firelight from Gucci again, and that is the satin formula. That is what it looks like. And I thought it would be different from the Queen Christina that I already had. 
it looks as if it's almost the same but not exactly so this is a city firelight and this is agatha orange let me try the city firelight and this is city firelight not bad so but i'll probably use a lip liner with mine i like to use lip liners there's nothing wrong with this lipsticks on their own it's just a preference of mine and i will put the lip oil on top So that's that for the lipsticks. Do I have anything else? And no. So that will be it for today. That was the last one. And thank you so much for joining me. And hopefully you enjoyed derived pleasure in seeing this my little loot that I did pick up. I'll definitely be giving you feedback on some of the new things that I did pick up. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Also, kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And until next time, stay safe. God bless. Kisses.